nurse friend, hey nurse friend, hey. So today we are talking about how to prepare to receive a patient for an admission. We have our nursing report. I covered that in the video prior to this. So if you haven't seen that, go run, check that out. We talk all things about obtaining the nursing uh, report for nurse to nurse report from another nurse, from another facility, from another hospital. Today we are covering what we are going to do with that information to prepare for our patient to come to our facility. Okay, so preparing for your patient to come to your facility before your patient gets there actually starts the care for your patient. Obtaining the nursing report and preparing for them to come before they get there. You want to make sure you do those two things as detailed as possible, okay? You got your nursing report. What are you gonna do with this information? It should not just be sitting on the desk. It should not just be sitting on the cart. It shouldn't just be folded up in your pocket waiting for the patient to come. There's things that we need to do to prepare for the patient to come to the facility prior to getting there to enhance the patient experience. Nurses, we want our patients to have a great experience and it starts with the admission process. Okay, let's talk about a few of the things that we can do to make that happen. One, you want to know what room your patient is going to. You do not want the EMTs, the ambulance, the medical techs. You do not want them stepping off the elevator, not knowing where your patient is going to in the first place, okay? Then you want to make sure that that room is prepared, as prepared as possible for when that patient arrives. You wanna make sure that the room is clean. You wanna make sure that the bed has been made. I love to have my bed covering pulled down because in most cases, the ambulance service, they're just gonna place the patient on top of the bed. Now you have the work of getting them off the top of the covers. So pull that bed down, like, you know, they finna spend some time in there anyway. Okay, you wanna make sure that their bedside table is there, that they have Kleenex in the room, that the bed, the phone is there, is working and operating. Just pick that joker up and make sure you have a dial tone. Next, you wanna make sure that your CNA, your nurse's assistant, knows that that patient is coming as well as the time the patient is coming. Depending on what type of environment or what type of person that patient is, they may come fully dressed, they may come in a gown, you just don't know. But you need to develop a rapport with your CNAs that when that patient comes in, whether they have on a gown or not, you need them in a gown because you're gonna do a complete head to toe assessment on that patient. You also need to instruct them and establish a time that you need their weight and vital signs and any other responsibilities that your CNA, your nurse's assistant, has to that patient upon admission, which usually includes going through their belongings, their personal belongings. There's typically a form, whether it's a paper form or a form in the EMR system that your nurse's assistant in most cases is filling out to take account of all of the uh, items that patient comes in with, whether it's clothes, watches, belts, shoes, earrings, rings, a bracelet, um, dentures, hearing aids. We need to take into account at the time of admission what the patient belongings are because a lot of times two three, time, two, three days later at the time of discharge, they're looking for hearing aids, they're looking for dentures, they're looking for uh, mom's ring. And if we take account of those things at the beginning on the first day of admission, then we can actually say if those things ever entered our facility. The patient typically has to sign those forms and nurse, you should just not be, you know, taking a form and, you know, storing it somewhere or putting it for somebody else to take care of, filing it in a chart. Take a glance at it and, you know, know what's on that form, okay? I'm not telling you to study it, but valuable things like rings and jewelry and hearing aids and uh, dentures and stuff like that, you should know if those things are actually present. Now, a lot of the things that we gather uh, from the nursing report are gonna be valuable here. 
We talked about uh, finding out the last time that the patient received pain medication because you want that patient, especially if that patient was admitted to the hospital for an acute illness that required pain management, you want that patient to be as pain-free as possible when you get there. Because in most cases, depending on the pain med that they're going to be on, it will not be available for some time uh, at the beginning of the admission. Now, we also talked about if the patient was receiving AccuCheX, if they were receiving NAV treatments, if the patient was on oxygen. If the patient is on oxygen, have it in the, the, the room already when the patient gets there. The EMT is going to want to take them off of whatever oxygen device that they have them on when they bring them to the facility and transfer them to what you all have in the facility. That should not be something that you have to go and get. That patient, you were already aware that that patient was coming. You already had knowledge that that patient was on oxygen. Nebulizer treatment. You don't know what kind of condition that patient is coming into you on. Whether it's, you know, they get a Q4 hours or PRN, you need to have that already prepared and in the room, okay? Um, if the patient... Uh, let's have some uh, water already for the patient, unless you know that the patient is NPO. There are things that we can do to prepare. And so we want to be mindful of those things. So we need to start stretching ourselves and using our nursing judgment as we gather and obtain nursing judgments from prior admissions or admissions in uh, the future. What were you able to do? What did that patient ask for with that diagnosis? things of that nature. We want to have that room as prepared as possible. We're gonna talk about um, further on in the admission process, but this is about room pre preparation, preparing as much as possible for that patient to you know, get there and have a comfortable um, initial experience when they arrive. Okay, guys, talk to you later. I'll see you on the next video.